Um, so I'm in Kansas City. Um, I actually got here at like four o'clock and I could have like gone out and walked around and explored, but there's a couple of reasons why I did it. One, upon me walking from my car, waiting at the crosswalk to get to the hotel, some guy yelled at me across the street, down the street, and was like, I see what you slanging, girl. I don't know what that means. It made me uncomfortable. And he's not, don't, he's obviously not been the only guy on this trip. This man saying big wild stuff to me. But I was just fed up after that one. So I kind of want to stay in because of that. And then also, I'm kind of tired. Like, I'm actually really tired. The time change hasn't been that big of a deal. But, like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm so tired. But, um, yeah, so there's that. And then I didn't. I only drove, like, four hours today. So, but tomorrow I'm driving to Colorado Springs, which is going to be about an eight-hour drive. So I just decided to stay in, rest today, and then I'm going to get up early, go explore the World War I um, memorial, and then head out to Colorado Springs so that I'm not driving all day and I'm even more tired. So I got me some food. Um... Shit, I don't know how to turn my camera around, but if you can see, I just ordered me some food. It's actually really good. So I'm gonna finish eating and go to sleep. Oh, so most places don't have breakfast anymore because of COVID, like at all. Um, but this place does, and look how cute. They bagged us up a lunch, or a breakfast, excuse me. And a cute little coffee mug. And some orange juice and he's so cute okay that is not what i expected to be in this bag what in the world <laughs> a honey bun i'm dead so these houses are kind of cool kind of interesting looking i don't know like i just i really just want to get where i'm trying to go <gasps> like I missed so many turns I don't know where I'm at and I'm frustrated and none of these lanes make sense bro alright guys I give up I just got to the World War One museum and memorial and most of today, I'm going to be driving um, to Colorado Springs. But I wanted to stop and walk around and take some pictures at the memorial. Because, one, I didn't honestly know it existed. Um, especially not in Kansas. Yeah, so I'm going to walk around take some pictures. I'm not going to be here very long because i got to get on the road. I have a long drive for today. So, um, yeah. Let's go check it out. So we're here, this is like mad cool. Like this park and everything is like beautiful. And not to shit on Kansas City, but like what I've seen so far has not been it, like at all. In the night, well sometimes it just feels right. But says why?
I never ever see like people who actually did it. So that's my cool. I guess you can go inside maybe? Hmm. Cool. Alright. Let's get it on. Let me show you how. and what not on it and female marine or soldiers <laughs> art is so powerful uh, but this little downtown area is kind of cute search again for Starbucks but this is actually not a cute cool but like I think it's a streetcar these buildings are cool and like I feel like I finally got to the cool part of Kansas City because I was worried why does why do you try to do this like why why the speed limit is 75 bro I'm going 69 what is this get out the way get out the way Wind shaking them. This just don't look safe. It don't look safe. The stretch that I'm driving is 455 miles. I'ma cry. That's a lot. Pray for me. Driving, obviously. And I see on the side of a barn a sign that says, No God, no peace. Like an O no God, no peace, and then it says, no God, no peace. And I just think it's a little interesting because there's a saying, no justice, no peace. I feel like you can know God as much as you want, but you're still not gonna be at peace in situations where people are getting murdered, etc. Especially when it's directly affecting you. I don't care who you are. So I'm getting a little tired. Um, I have a headache. I've been driving for like four hours now. Maybe a little less. Nah, like four hours. <laughs> um, and I still have five more hours to go. I just made a stop because I was worried about my tire. It was like wobbly. Well, I don't know if my tire was wobbly or is the road, but my car was vibrating a lot, which was strange because it was just out of nowhere. And the road looked smooth to me. So I stopped and I got gas and I peed and everything. But uh, I'm squinting because I got have a, like I have a headache. Um, this is what happens to me when I'm tired. I don't have energy. And I don't have caffeine, so the homie Eddie gave me this in my little gift bag, my little to-go gift bag and birthday gift bag. I've actually never had a five-hour energy drink, so I don't think it would be smart for me to drink this whole thing. Um, that just it looks like a lot. I just imagine it being mad crazy caffeine in it. So, I mean, hello, lady whatever um anyway so, all right so i'm just gonna drink like half of it Ooh, okay i feel like i'm taking a shot of liquor all right let's see if that'll do it for me you see me dancing and acting crazy in like 30 minutes you know what this might be it like i mean first of all i just had some air show up on my car i don't know what it means i'm in the middle of nowhere in kansas 
and I'm pretty sure a tornado is about to happen because this wind is playing tennis with my car. I'm scared. The skies are like dark. And yeah, I really don't know what this error on my car means. And I'm in the middle of nowhere. I still have 312 miles to get to my hotel. So let's hope this isn't one of those stories you read on the news. Because that would suck. I'd really prefer.